Well, I'm not exactly sure why I have no video. Is there a video at all? I'll try opening up a new window and seeing what we have. I, I really do not understand. Oh, there is video. Okay, so that's bizarre. I don't have video on my own screen, but I have video on live. And there is just a little small bit of a delay. It's totally fine. So let's, let's get started. Um, so yeah. Let's see what we got here. Can you hear me at all? Cool. Audio seems fine. I am so very new to this. I apologize, but I wanted to do it live because I don't feel like messing with uploads and editing and other types of things. I just got this covert companion in the mail today. I'm excited. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That's the quickest I've ever clicked by on something ever. Like, period. So, I've never put one of these together. Uh, we're just going to go for it. Oh. Uh, let's see. I guess I want that on there, huh? And then put one of these posts on either side. <clears throat> now, let me put in these two spacer. I actually don't know if this is the right way to do it. <laughs> I hope it is. I'm, there's a lot of spacers here. I'm going to put another one on here. This might not be the right way to do it, you know, but it might. So those two and then spacer. Jiggler. Uh, I guess another spacer and another jiggler. And then on this side, we put in a spacer first. And then we put in this little thing here, right? And then there's a little shim piece somewhere. Or a spacer, or I don't know. Is that supposed to have a spacer? No, you put these two and then a spacer. Okay. <laughs> I have never put one of these together before, but I I wanted one really bad, and they finally came in. All right, so I'm assuming the cone goes next. I'll start putting the cones on. And if, you know somebody were actually in the live chat and able to help me, uh, I wouldn't say no to that. Seems to be two of the same one of these, but I'm going to stick it in there anyway. And then another spacer. And then uh, let's see. There's two, four, six, seven left. Why is there seven left? This one goes. So now there's... Oh no, there's one more cone. There we go. Let me put another spacer. <laughs> uh, let me put this one on. And then... Let's see. That leaves this... Oh, 
gonna put another spacer and put one of these on it, maybe. Okay. Or no, there's a jiggler. I see a jiggler here that could go. Uh, let's see. Is there a picture? I'm gonna look and see if there's a picture on this thing. There might be a picture somewhere. Oh, the, I'm gonna flip those over. The picture. I I found a picture. It's not that way, it's the other way. Excuse me. Did I put a space at the very bottom? Yes, I did. Cool. Got a space at the bottom. All the cones stack up. And then let's see here. Okay, so there is actually this one and then uh, this one next. And that leaves four four tools left. So I'm going to do it. Let's see. This piece here. All right. And then a washer. Put these on like together, I guess, at the same time on this side. And then these two picks go together. Uh, like that, I guess. Yeah. And then this goes down on top of here. And hmm. I did that wrong. Or no. Or no. I did that wrong. What was that it's supposed to be the short screw? Maybe I put too many heights on it. Maybe it was only supposed to have the one. So let me try doing that. Let me take take these off. Again, I, I it didn't come with instructions, which is totally fine because there's he did a video on assembling this thing. So it's not hard. It's not complicated. You know, don't let me make you think it's hard or anything like that. He, he literally did a video on all of this. <clears throat> so this is just me making it harder than it needs to be. Let's see. So this one, you just take the screws, the two little short screws, and they go on here. Cool. Then we can put these picks on this side. Well, let me, let me make sure they're facing the right direction because I want to keep everything lined up. So that can go there. Together. And this one goes together like so. So Holding these two is going to be the trick. I'm, my hands are, I'm very clumsy. I am so very clumsy and, and it's embarrassing. Oh, wow. 
That is hard to get. Oh. There we go. There we go. I was concerned for a half a second. <laughs> oh, I did lose one. Okay. Well, that's fine. I, I bet I could get that one to cooperate. There we go. Now we just find a little smear the hole. There it is. I guess I should be concerned. Damn, this thing is so hard to put together. Even with proper like instruction and video it, holding it for people like me who are clumsy this is very awkward let me put in a longer screw because I just dropped a shorter one and I, I again I don't blame the kid I blame my clumsiness but this is so painful for me to hold because my hands are massive all right, so I got that screw in there <clears throat> as a temporary hold. And I'm also having to do this behind a camera with a tripod in my lap. So I apologize for that. So let's get that tightened down. It doesn't have to be super tight, but uh, I want it to be on there. Probably just tighten that with my thumb. All right, now this one is the one that that probably could stay there. If it is, it going to stick out the other side? I guess I could use the long screw then. I'll just do that. And let's see what we have here. How does that look? And get pick, pick. Right, cool. That doesn't look too bad. I'm not disappointed in that. I mean, it took a little longer. Than, I mean, it would probably, if somebody had really good hands, <laughs> it would have been assembled already. Uh, but uh, I'm happy with what I've got. Let's see. I'm just spreading them out because two of these, yep, that's I knew it. Two of them are, these two, I accidentally did backwards. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. So to flip those two, because that's going to bother my OCD. And if you're watching at home, I'm sure it'll bother you. Is that going to mess together? It does. All right. So those two, I'm just going to flip them over. I say that like it's going to be easy, but uh, I've got massive like Shrek hands. I'm so sorry for essing in your in your ear, but I have like Shrek hands. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's probably just as painful for me as it is for you watching, and we're gonna. Flip these two over. So that goes together. And I bet you I screwed up because uh, look at that. My hands, I swear I screwed all of that up already. All in the name of straightening. So, we'll put this one down first. Now, these two can just sit in there. 
on top of each other. So. Let's try to reassemble them now. Her shoe shred cans. There we go. We got her done. Oh, it pushed out so nice. Good job. Flash that logo. <laughs> They're not paying me for this. I, by the way, I'm just flashing the logo because it, I don't feel like uh explaining every little detail anymore it's been a long day and this was a different live plan than the one i originally planned i was going to do a oscilloscope but i'm exhausted from ripping a tub out of the wall and this is more satisfying to me and requires far less tools far fewer bang look at that all right, we got it fanned out. Now, I've wanted this for a while, and there's a particular reason I wanted this pick. And I'm going to demonstrate the. It's one of these. Let's break one of these out. Fold the rest of them down. I'm not sure which comb pick it is, but I wanted to try these comb picks for a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to try number four. I believe, I hope it's not four, is it five? Maybe it's five. One of these works on a master lock, and it's ridiculous. I can hear that working. Let's see. Where's that first pin at? I'll sit there. There we go. And bam! Look at that. Oh, I love that comb pick so much. I want to make sure that's not a fluke. Let me lock that back up. Hold up. Uh, I've been wanting one of these for a minute just for that comb pick. <clears throat> so you jiggle it around a little bit with it, just a little bit of twist. We'll turn it upside down. That was easier. Bam. Number two. I love that so much. I don't know how to use these other picks. I'm not going to lie to you. But that one, if I put a tensioner on it, there's a particular one I like. It's heavy duty. There it is. Oh, it is. There it is. That's the heavy duty one. This one right here is. Not gonna break or nothing. I'm I'm not again. I'm not a lock picker, but I, I wanted to try this. So, you know, this is the live Dilly Bob. Let's see. Oh wait, that's upside down. Okay, my bad. No problem. Oh bam! Oh bam! Look at that. Oh, that was quick. Lock that up one more time. I love this pick so much. Oh, this is so fascinating. Thank you, Covert Instruments, for... Wow, that's... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So, <clears throat> is it worth it? Absolutely. I, I struggled with that lock using a single pick. And that's a breeze. That's a breeze, and I am not a lock picker. I'm telling you, and I'm telling you this, that I'm not a lock picker because it is it was that easy to use. Some of these are a little bent. That's my fault. That's, they didn't come bent. I know they didn't come bent because I, I looked at the package when it came in, and that happened while I was assembling it, so that's my fault. Please don't, don't uh, like blame the pick if you buy one of these. And I don't know that I've fully assembled it correctly, but you know, it closes fine. It picks fine. I really love that comb pick. 
that's not even fair. Like Master Lock. <laughs> Master Lock's already bad enough, but the fact that somebody with no skills can just grab this thing, flip open a comb and go, I'm gonna pick that, no problem. All righty, well, that's all I've got for you. You know what? I think I know if you look real carefully, line, that is just enough room to fit a key on this side. I could put like my house key on this side. So this could be, that's probably what that's, what that spacer extra, like there's an extra spacer here and extra posts. They put a lot of extra parts in here. That was nice. But uh, yeah, I, I would. I really hope I never have to buy another one of these because they're kind of expensive. Like this was a gift to myself, and I had to wait on it and wait on it because of them being out of stock. But dang, that's cool. These supposedly these notch decoder things work on like the little combination dials, I think, and and this shim. It's not enough to shim this lock, but it would definitely shim that that uh, combination lock that I was playing with the other day. That, that was funny as I'll get out. Or even this, this this is a really good tool for that. That would just pick that right open, or even that one. God, that's that's fascinating. I like that. So yeah. That's all I've got. I don't know what else to say about it except for I love it. You know, I don't have any more locks on hand. That's why I'm not picking more. Like I have literally only that one lock I bought for the sole purpose of messing around with this stuff. And I didn't think I'd enjoy putting together, you know, this thing. But it, it actually went together really nice. And my hands are to blame when it comes to assembly so yeah something to think about when you buy yours just you know if you got really big hands you might want to consider asking some help <clears throat> i do believe that that is enough for a key on this side Either that or maybe if I were to take this piece out, um, which is the key ring bit. Let me, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to, let's see. This one is the short screw, I think, or the long screw. That's the long screw. I'm going to leave that one on this side. That's totally fine. The short screw on this side. Oops. I just dropped my screwdriver. Hold on one second. That's exactly what that is. Uh, if I would have, there's a short screw, these. this side. I'm just going to let them fall off. It's not a really a big deal. I don't need this key ring bit. So what I'll do is I'll take that off. And since those go straight down, then that means this uh, Let's 
Mm. And then we start with the spacers. And we'll go in here. The spacer. Put that one on. I mean, I'm sure you could stick them in whatever order you wanted to. I, I think I remember there being a comment about you can't put certain ones across from other ones. That is something to keep an eye out for. Uh, to my knowledge, I have not done that. I have not like screwed that part up. <laughs> but there again, uh, I'm also having to restack this thing yet again. So let's see if I swing this on around, set that down and put a short screw on it now instead of a long screw. Cause I think I'm almost certain that this covert companion, the extra posts and the extra long screws are actually for putting in your own keys and maybe extra tools or whatever. Because, let's see, yeah, because without the key ring on it, look at that, that fits beautiful. Okay, so that's what that is. Um, let's see, so that means you've got one, that's three together. That's three together. Oh, so you could put four, dang, that's. That's really nice. Let's put them together too. I would probably assemble this with Loctite at this point. All right, so there's already a, a stud in here. So that's five studs. You could make this. I wonder. Oh, I will turn it over there. All right, just for temporarily purpose, <laughs> temporary viewing purposes. So you could put in theoretically a whole stack of keys on both side of this. That is actually really, really handy. Good job, companion, covert companion. In fact, if I'm honest, I really like this enough that I might consider putting my keys in here. I don't know if that's advisable. I'll look into that. That, that might be something I should look into. Uh, but anyway, I, I really don't want to just be on here all night, but I did want to share the assembly of this tool, uh, mainly because I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. So now they're all facing the same direction, which is again totally fine. I'm not. It doesn't have to be perfectly. Uh, like everything aiming toward the center or anything like that. Uh, that is not something that's going to bother me. I just like the fact that it closes up nice and neat. And uh, let's see. this has no spacer. So that's supposed to sit right down on the bottom. Yeah. It might take a little while for it to get broke in good, but that's that's a really nice fit. Well, I hope you all have a good evening. Um, I'm going to call it a day. Uh, I've got so much stuff left to do, but I figured I would share this with you, you know. So you all have a good evening.